Well, it is official. Bill O'Reilly. Well, let's just put it this way. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> down goes O'Reilly. Down goes O'Reilly. And now officially, down goes O'Reilly. Fox News has fired Bill O'Reilly today. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we told you that it was likely given the, the news that was out in New York Magazine, Matt Drudge and other sources. Uh, and today it is confirmed, uh, Young Turks have outlasted Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> <That's laughs> Not a, a big milestone. deal, Bill. <laughs> now we are hiring through our journalism campaign. That's how uh, David got here, okay? Sorry, Bill, uh, our audience is not interested. Uh, so <laughs> uh, and uh, apparently on Monday, instead of doing talking points, he's gonna do walking points. Oh! I did that yesterday too. <laughs> okay, well, Bill O'Reilly goes in, Bill O'Reilly goes out. You can't explain that. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly's going to his house. He's going to his house. Do you <laughs> think he disappears now? Uh, well, well, let's get into that in a second. Why would he? Uh -huh. well, well, we'll get into it, but, okay. but that, that's a good question, but I don't see why he would. Um, now, it's, it's weird that he was fired. That he's never going to actually return from this vacation that he went on, that he planned a long, long time ago because he was so sure that that's just routine vacation. But don't don't trust me. This is how Bill O'Reilly announced that he'd be going away for a little bit, but inevitably coming back. Fact tip of the day: Often around this time of year, I grab some vacation because it's spring and Easter time. Last fall, I booked a trip that should be terrific. Not going to tell you where it is, but we have a contest on BillOReilly.com. Guess where Bill's going? I'll have a full report when I return. We'll can, never ooh, know. Ooh, 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 can I guess unemployment line? No. It's a spider <laughs> hole in a rock, actually, was found it. Uh, yeah, so uh, apparently he's gonna be on a long vacation. And he could, I mean, look, he's he's obviously a rich guy. He's been paid millions of dollars a year for a number of years now. If he wanted to, he could simply go away. I personally think it's likely that he would try to parlay this into a podcast or something like that. Yeah. I mean, why not? He's got an audience. You'd have, most of his audience would have to be taught how to download podcasts. But if you could get past that hurdle, then he could theoretically make some uh, sponsorship deals if there's any people uh, still want to sponsor him. I want to be the first to throw um, it out there. Possible replacement for Sean Spicer. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, Ooh, I know. Uh, it's now it's out there. Brett Ehrlich has been pushing for that as well. Um, that is certainly possible, and we're gonna get into who will be replacing him in just a second. Now, uh, just a little bit before the show actually went live, Bill O'Reilly came out with a statement about his firing. We're not gonna read you the whole thing. It's actually a big duplicate with what 20th Century Fox put out. Um, but he said this, it is tremendously disheartening that we part ways due to completely unfounded claims. But that is the unfortunate reality many of us in the public eye must live with today. So completely unfounded. Which is an interesting thing to put out there right before you eventually. He's inevitably, these things are gonna be investigated in court. We're gonna know whether or not the hot chocolate happened and the various forms of harassment in a number of different women's cases actually happened. Um, but let's briefly put up the announcement just to commemorate it. After a thorough and careful review of the allegations, the company, that being 21st Century Fox, and Bill O'Reilly have agreed that he will not be returning to the Fox News Channel. What's interesting is that that's a very small portion of the total statement, both from them and from him, almost entirely focused on how high his ratings were and how great his show was. And I understand from your point of view, you want to like commemorate the work that you've done and you think that you're great and everything. But considering why he's being let go, and the various allegations, both the new ones and the ones that we've known about for more than a decade at this point. I think that's a weird way to address it. If you're trying to pave over the concerns people have about the, the workplace that Fox News has maintained, the lack of respect and protection it's given to its female talent. I think to say, oh, yeah, we're gonna fire the guy. He was awesome, he was great, great ratings. A success by any measure is one of the quotes from it. I think that that's unnecessarily disrespectful to the, the women that he's hurt over the course well, of his tenure. The problem Fox is News. They're, they're caught in a, in a tough spot, right? I mean, they can't say that we're firing him because of the allegations, because I'm sure there's legal questions and liability, mm -hmm. but they are firing him. So it's like, we're firing him and he's great. Like yeah. I, we, well, yeah. look, look. Let's let me it's build. A tough spot. Let me build yeah. on what both of you guys are saying. First of all, you're you're too kind to him, John. I mean, we already have the five settlements for thirteen million dollars. How can you call it unfounded? You guys paid thirteen million bucks to settle those cases. Now, if you're innocent, are you going to pay thirteen million bucks? Now, I know what they say. Oh, we're famous. We just pay people that just falsely accuse us. But that would encourage more false accusations. And Fox News is not the kind of organization. That doesn't like the fight. Yeah. That that would say, "Oh, let's preemptively surrender." It is not in their DNA. 
They fight tooth and nail and then they go, okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's make this thing go away, right? So those are pay settlements I didn't pay him, Bill. Your company paid because you were wrong because you did sexually harass four of those women and verbally harass the fifth, let alone the new charges that have come up. Second of all, the quote that John was referring to is in the statement, 21st Century Fox says, in fact, his success by any measure is indisputable. Well, if it was indisputable, my friends, my guess is you wouldn't have fired him. <laughs> I mean, there's one measure that his success was disputable in. There had to be, right? Yeah, Otherwise, does, it, does your show exist? <laughs> yes. There's, so the measure was: Are you a decent human being, or are you a gross sexual harasser that does this on a serial basis? That is so toxic. We've lost a. At this count, about 80 advertisers overall. You've endangered a $14 billion deal we have in Europe. And the morale of the company is devastatingly low for all the women who work there who've had to put up with you and Roger Ailes sexual harassment for now decades. Let right? alone the women who have lost their jobs because they didn't go along with it or because they complained about it at this point. Careers shut cut short because of his harassment. So I would argue by at least one measure, his success is quite disputable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's. Can you imagine, David Sirota? Your success at Young Turks is indisputable by any measure. By the way, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? But, right. Call that a parting gift. I, I would think. say that the firing is a disputation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're disputing it. Uh, now, you might be wondering what happens to uh, the show and to O'Reilly now that he is uh, moving on. Well, Tucker Carlson will be moving from 9 p.m. to take over his slot. While the five will move to 9 p.m. with new co host Jesse Waters. I look forward to the day he gets fired, probably more because of the racist comments than the, um, the misogynistic comments based on his history on the show. Eric Bowling is whoa, gonna whoa, be whoa, taking over. Hold on, hold on. You think you can get fired at Fox News? Not racist yet. Comments? Not yet. <laughs> I mean, like, you really? Well, O'Reilly didn't, like but <laughs> their activists are on the lookout now. That's a good point. Uh, and then Eric Bowling is going to have an hour to himself. I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> I, who? What's the audience for an Eric Bowling hour? I, if I was Eric Bowling, I would not listen to myself for an hour. Young Turks now has over six billion lifetime views. You know who did that? You did that. We're now larger than CNN, ABC. You name a news network online, we're larger than them. And you built all that as everyone scoffed and didn't believe. And here we are, guys. Thanks to you. Build independent media together with us at tytnetwork.com. Slash join.